In Luke 2.25, we're told about a man named Simeon. Simeon means listening or to listen. If you think about what listening actually is, in its most basic understanding, it is literally just attentiveness. And if you think about what attentiveness is, it is the exclusion of all other things but the thing that you are focusing on. So Simeon means giving God all of your attention at the exclusion of all other things, living a life of listening. Simeon lived his entire life waiting for the coming of the Lord. And it is this waiting, listening, exclusion of all other things, heart, that I want to talk to you about. In 225 of the book of Luke, we see that there was a man named Simeon. And it says specifically that he was waiting, as we said. But it says the Holy Spirit was upon him. This is number one. Number two, it says, and it was revealed to him by the Holy Spirit, that's number two, that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. And he came in the Spirit to the temple. That's number three. Three things that will accompany a life that listens to the Lord, literally is attentive to Him at the exclusion of all other things. The Holy Spirit will rest upon your life. Number two, the Holy Spirit will reveal. You'll have revelation from the Spirit, spiritual thoughts, spiritual words, spiritual unveilings that lead to the revelation or are the revelation of Jesus. And it says that he was moved by the Spirit. He came by the Spirit into the temple. This is a life that is quickened and moved by the power of the Spirit. I believe all three of these things, the Holy Spirit resting on your life, the revelation that comes from the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit movement or empowerment all come from listening, living a life that gives God all of your attention at the exclusion of all of the things so that the Holy Spirit can rest upon you, move you, and reveal Jesus to you. I believe Simeon right now is what God wants to say to many of you. And I pray that God would grant you grace to listen, to live listening, attentive to his sweet presence. And as you're attentive to his presence in the midst of even the mundane and all the busyness of life, living, listening is living in attentiveness to God at the exclusion of all other things. Many times it is the additions of other things in our hearts that cause the leak in of fear and anxiety and competition, comparison, condemnation, all of these things that come into the human soul that make a man have to fight and wrestle on the inside are normally leaked in through inattentiveness. So I want to encourage you. This is what God is after. This is what will help you. It will place the direct contact of the Spirit upon you. I love the word upon because it suggests underneath something is over you. It is subjectivity to God's presence. We cannot claim to be subject to God's presence if our hearts are not attentive to His person. We are attentive to the person of God in being attentive to the presence. And we are attentive to the presence and attentive to His person. So I encourage you. This is yours. It's the new covenant. No matter what's in front of you, no matter what your life situation you're in, you can live listening. I pray that a simian life would come upon you. God bless you.